Good evening to everyone. Welcome to Global Online. Here we are back with our NTA UGC net paper preparation for paper one, that is 2022 batch, which will be conducted in this month itself, September 2022. And you all, as you all are aware that we have started a new series of concepts uh, videos, which will be very shorter length, but it will help you to make sure that the concepts are revised quickly. And we have started the series from yesterday. So today we have a second video of the same. It is basically on the unit is teaching aptitude and today's video is on maxims of teaching and phases of teaching. Before we go ahead, an important announcement that for UGC net paper one preparation, the new batch is going to start from 12th of September. That is the coming Monday. So anyone who is interested can get to uh, can join our batches and ensure that your preparation is going uh, very well. The live classes are conducted at morning 10 a.m. So from 10 a.m. onwards, the live classes goes on with MCQ series. In order to join uh, the course, you have to ensure that what exactly will be the benefit. You will be getting daily live lectures at 10 a.m. in English. PDF notes will begin on all the topics. Last 10 year question papers with the answer key test series consisting of 2500 questions plus MCQs, which you can avail uh, on global online app as well as on the given WhatsApp number. The fees is 3500. Let me update you that till tomorrow, 12 uh, p.m. You know, we have the fees with this structure. At 12 a.m. AM onwards, the fees will be increased. So you can take the opportunity and get the uh, maximum benefit with a low fees. If you are using the global online app, you can go on Google Play Store, download the app. This is the interface where you have to register yourself with the mobile number. The courses list is given. You can select the course, make the payment. And, you know, you have uh, uh, basically... Can buy the course once you buy the course the content will be accessible wherein you wherein you have all the units listed you can get theory lectures mcq lectures notes mock test and evaluation test in the every folder if you are interested to go for paper two we have paper two following subjects which are reflected on the screen paper two notes and mcqs are available for this particular uh, subjects the fees is 1500 year also tomorrow 8 uh, that is 8th of September 12 a.m onwards these fees will be hiked so you can gain the maximum fees leverage with this low cost of fees and for the same access you can get us get in touch with us on the given whatsapp number so now as you all know, the teaching aptitude has totally five questions. The weightage is uh, 10 marks. Each question carries uh, two marks. So you can, you know, you can ensure that if you are revising well, this all 10 marks will be in your pocket. So now let's start with the magazines of teaching. As I said, the today's agenda is magazines as well as uh, phases. So in magazines of teaching, basically you have this following magazines that is known to unknown, simple to complex, concrete to abstract, particular to general, whole to part, psychological to logical. Then you have induction to deduction, empirical to rational and analysis to synthesis. Now we have first is known to unknown where you are as a teacher, you are supposed to ensure that what the students know, the new knowledge of the unknown should be given on the basis. So you have to start with something which is previously known and then come to unknown. That is with reference to known to unknown magazine. When we say simple to complex, the teacher has to start with the simpler things, okay? And slowly, gradually has to take the students to the complex contents. Uh, it means you have to start with simple and then come towards the complex. When we say concrete to abstract, so in order to have a mental development, teachers should begin with a concrete in order to make them able to learn uh, the abstract con uh, concepts at a later stage. So, But in order to make that at abstract con concepts clear, teacher has to start with what? Teacher has to begin with the con concrete concepts. Same way, particular to general. So when we talk about particular, that is specific examples should be presented by the teacher to the student. And then the general laws or principles should be derived. Uh, so this is very, very important, you know, uh, for the student to understand the concept, ensure that no rote learning is happening, understanding of the facts is done. So you are utilizing your memory level, understanding level, as well as reflective level with the help of these magazines. 
then when we say whole two parts so according to gestalt psychology uh, first the object as a whole should be perceived and then as a part so it should it should start with a whole the so sum and then uh, divided into what divided into parts then uh, psychological logic uh, to logical so these magazines work with the interest the mind interest you have one question indirectly that what is teacher responsible for or def definitely teacher is responsible to create interest in the mind of the child so it should start with the interest level aptitude level capacity dev development etc the due to which the students can you know select the subject matter and then can reach on to the logical arrangement next one we have is induction to deduction so when we say induction it is nothing but arriving at a conclusion by observing the given state statements and uh, deduction is a process to arrive the conclusion after examining so it is examining the possibilities that is called as deduction whereas uh, observing the set of statements is coming as induction then comes empirical to rational wherein the teacher should introduce the students to the empirical ideas that is real life ideas and then move to the rational concepts okay and lastly comes as analysis to synthesis so wherein the teacher has to break down that is synthesis uh, sorry analysis is breaking down a complex problem into a smaller part or a unit and then the whole idea so it is you know uh, combining comes as synthesis breaking comes as analysis so many a time these topics are also taken in statement questions so you should be able to remember it so you can get see the questions which you can get for magazines of teaching it's like you know you will be getting the magazines where you can get it in the math the following uh, the chances are very less with math the following but still otherwise you can get the questions you can get the magazines and then you can have to uh, go for odd man out or you can get with the examples and then you have to recognize which magazines you know stands to be correct so this is basically what these are the basic uh, questions on magazines of teaching principles of teaching also uh, then you have uh, next is uh, that is bloom's taxonomy i have just added this uh, purposely uh, with the concept of you know what is bloom's taxonomy so bloom's taxonomy i'll be taking one separate lecture but right now i'm just added the sequence that is which are the higher order skills which are the lower order skills it starts with remembering understanding applying analyzing evaluating and creating whereas creating evaluating analyzing starts stands under higher order skills applying understanding and remembering starts under lower order skills i have given you the examples but as i said uh i will taking i'll be taking a lecture on bloom's taxonomy separately but just today i just wanted to introduce this concept so remembering stands for recalling understanding stands for uh getting a summarizing or interpreting applying goes to you know use of ideas analyzing goes of examining the concepts uh, wherein you can see breaking them down evaluating goes to uh, knowing the standards and creating goes to assembling the parts yeah then the next topic for the day we have is phases so in phases you definitely get questions uh, so one of the mcqs i have also used the questions like what are the phases there are three phases they are called as the post sorry preactive interactive and post active preactive phase refers to planning interactive refers to the conduct and management whereas post active refers to follow up and consolidation so these are the three stages which goes with phases of teaching this was one of the question seen with refers to pass the following which stages refers to what and what are the stages so you have preactive interactive post active preactive refers to planning interactive refers to management and post active refers to consolidation so this is all two basic concepts which you have learned under what under teaching aptitude okay so yes the small concepts that's all for the day as i said i'll be keeping this short videos in span of a limited time you can revise the concepts very well okay thank you everyone see you tomorrow with the next new video uh, that is with the concept of teaching aptitude thank you